I'll be speaking the truth and nothing but the truth. Coming from someone who YouTube has treated unfairly, this video will not be biased. I'm not going to do no introduction, but let's just get started, bro. I've been doing YouTube for half of my life since I was 9 years old. I'm 16 now. And I first blew up when the Murder Mystery 2 Teamer trend was a thing. I had made my own mini trend of it and made Micing Up With Teamers. Me and YouTube was like these up until this one video I made titled, to listen to this, y'all, listen to this. Toxic MM2 Teamers Flex Slender Boyfriend and Get Juked. They didn't show me why, they didn't show me how. I watched the whole video like 10 times over thinking of my bugging. I appealed this shit. That did not work. The human reviewer said that it was sexual content. So you mean to tell me, me killing some Legos in Murder Mystery 2 is sexual? Me shooting the murder with a gun is sexual? But I'm not just here to bitch about one strike, feel me? But it's like, when I don't know what the fuck I did wrong, and I'm just getting hit with this random ass strike, you feel me? Is it wrong for me to be mad at that? Now, this time I had a warning on my channel, y'all. I couldn't appeal that shit. I couldn't get it off. There wasn't no training that they have now to where I could get rid of the warning. No. That warning was stuck on my shit. So the next time something happened, I'd have a 90-day strike on my channel. And the next time was the stupidest thing ever, bro. I had my double someone in a condo who was having e sex. That's what I usually do. For me, at the time, I was cleaning up Roblox specifically. So, of course, I'm on my cup with some niggas having e sex. And guess who took down my video? This time it wasn't even YouTube. It was Roblox. Roblox themselves took my video down. I emailed them. I emailed YouTube. I couldn't do a thing about it, bro. Except go to court, which I'm not going to do that, bro. I'm not doing all that shit, bro. But, bro. You can't do shit on this platform, bro. You can't. If Roblox is so copyright, why does it expect all the billions of YouTube videos on Roblox? All of my Roblox videos. Huh? Now, I know at this time, they were just striking down people who made condo videos. But my video was in no way supporting these condos. I was going against them. The people they were striking were in support of these condos. Either that, or they were just reviewing them, feel me? I was actually putting in the work. And the thing is, y'all, I put so much work in all my videos. All my videos have work put into them. Just for shit like this to just happen, just like that. Now I have no control over it. Now, yeah, after that, a few things did happen. YouTube flagged some, a lot of my videos, a lot of them, bro. But I was able to resolve them, feel me? I'd either appeal, or they would tell me what's wrong, and I'd fix that, feel me? It's cool. Up until my most recent video on Chills. This one was actually doing great. 60k views in like five days. Out of nowhere, I checked one day, and it's flagged. It's demonetized. Usually, YouTube is supposed to email me for everything they do. But I got no email, no, no YouTube studio notification, nothing. I was left in the dark and they just demonetized my video without me knowing. And I don't get to know why. I tried to appeal this. The human reviewer kept it demonetized without telling me why. YouTube, communication has been a problem for so long. Corey X Kitchen said this a while back. A lot of YouTubers said this a while back. You need to have communication with your creators who make up your fucking platform, bro. Because if you're telling me that I can just lose my shit like this and I won't get to know what the fuck I did wrong, what the fuck is that, bro? You feel me? There's no relationship between the creators and YouTube. There's none. And it doesn't even end there, y'all. I went back and they had flagged so many of my old videos without telling me shit, bro. No email, none of that. It's like the communication has gotten worse over the years, bro. As if it wasn't already bad. These were booming videos. But now all of a sudden, oh, there's something wrong with them. Years later, what, bro? This video got age restricted. I, I don't know why. Is your platform for kids? Is your platform for kids? And why is it that my videos, hold up, man. And why is it that my videos get targeted, bro? I don't mean to bring other YouTubers into this. But I have to, bro. Because I've seen this over the years. I'm like, what the fuck? This nigga did some crazy shit. And he's all good. But my shit is a problem. Let's go to example number one, bro. Because this is really, oh my God, this is sad, bro. This is just sad on YouTube's part. This video I made titled Roblox needs to ban these games. One of my last cleaning up Roblox videos. That video got struck for And they actually showed me why this time. I'm editing the scene, but basically at the end, there was a whole cameraman and those two Roblox things getting jiggy. Movie. That shit got my channel a strike, bro. And months later, it was still on my record. So I couldn't even get. I couldn't even get my play button, bro. It was still on my record. I couldn't even get this shit, bro. August, I hit 100K. I tried to get my play button. But that one strike 
was the only reason I couldn't get this shit, bro. I couldn't get this shit till December, bro. Three months after I hit 100K is when I get to order it. Because during that time, I had to appeal to like Mad Toms, and it finally worked. Because some YouTube might have some sense. I was like, bro, this isn't that bad. It's not strike worthy. So they age restricted it. Hold on, y'all see me in the reflection though? Okay. This shit kind of dusty. I got to clean this up. Now, y'all, you see that scene, right? Look at this scene on Chill's video. Now, Chills, I don't mind bringing you into this because I, I really don't like you, man. Let me so we just bring you into this. Baby, when you hear Chills banging his keyboard, that's just a begging of what he's gonna do to Lily. <laughs> Reading your weird comments. He basically said he's banging Lily in Roblox. And YouTube ain't care. His audience is little. That's the thing. He makes chippy chopper videos, 3 a.m. videos. These videos that bring in a young audience. And then he makes these weird videos. My shit ain't for little kids. His shit is mixed in with these weird ass videos. No age restriction, no strike, none of that. Cause she's getting all the money and views. And maybe because she's not black. And that's not my only example either, y'all. That is not my only example. Now, yes, these thumbnails right here are weird as fuck. But I was in my cleaning up Roblox era, bro. Will be every single Roblox YouTuber that was cleaning up Roblox was doing this shit. At one point, at least, they was doing that shit. But they both got age restricted. Not even off the jump. After they started doing good, they got age restricted. Boom. Now my shit is dead, getting one view a day. But you know who didn't? And I'm sorry to bring DJ Cook into this, but I've noticed this for a long ass time, bro. DJ Cook, I love your content, bro. But like, look, bro. Way long before mine, he made this video titled Playing Banned Games on Roblox. One million views. No strike. And it's even worse than my thumbnail. Way worse. It's detailed. There's less of a censoring. Especially with the next video. You can literally see the but yeah, his shit is fine, and mine isn't. No age restriction on his, but mine? What is the difference? What makes it what makes it different, bro? I work mad hard on these videos. Sensory shit left and right, bro. Y'all see it, bro. All the blurring I have to do, bro. All the time frames and shit. Bro, blurring is probably, when it comes to these nasty videos, blurring is the thing that takes the most time with these videos, bro. And there's videos like R63, Minecraft Heat, The Heat. Oh, how have you not caught up to TikTok? TikTok being a heat. But YouTube has it. That shit is allowed. R63 niggas are making bread from their nasty ass fucking work. They have nasty intentions, evil intentions. But my shit is a problem. And even after I stay away from making that type of content, it's still, everything is just a problem. And I'll never know why. I know I said, oh yeah, he's getting views, so YouTube is favoritizing him. No. That's not the case at all. Like I said about Corey Kenshin, he made two videos exposing YouTube for this exact thing, bro. Lack of communication. He scored out some videos for no reason. Now, yes, there's a reason, obviously, but it's like, it's in the form of, like, targeting. Same thing with, hold up, man. Same thing with Berlizzi. His channel had gotten deleted a while ago for playing a game called Poop Killer 2. There were other channels that were still up, but his channel just got straight up terminated. Other channels did full, full walkthroughs, full gameplays, but his is a problem. Why? A YouTuber that I watched, Mini Clint, who had gotten his channel terminated in the past for exposing EDP 445. How do you get terminated for exposing a file? He got he got terminated for quote unquote harassment. Now obviously, feel me, they reinstated his channel after he got mad YouTubers involved. But then they terminated him again for harassment again. And he did not get to know why. He got his channel back luckily. But that just shows you like if you don't have a solid Base, YouTube can't really do what the fuck they want to do with you, bro. Yes, they can strike you or not, but they can terminate you, and that could be the end of it. Like the situation with Dubskid, and my username is this. Me and Dubskid were good friends at that time, and we was actually planning to collab, but Roblox was targeting him because of the VC videos, and the whole community started trying to cancel him. Specifically, my username is this, who was sending strike after strike on his channel because he has connects like that. The copyright system is the next subject in this video. Look at Chills going out of his way, sending email after email, trying to get this YouTuber striked. Manipulate, trying to get manipulate YouTube using psychology. Where he's like, oh, this shit puts a negative feel on my work. I want to just leave the platform down because of this shit. Trying brand new tactics every email because it's not working. YouTubers do that shit and it works for them. Y'all remember my beef with Dimag? Most of y'all don't. But years ago, me and this YouTuber named Dimac16 had some beef. And he tried to get my channel striked for his face, which is all over the internet. 
all over the internet. But oh, because they don't like this video, like Roblox back in my video, because they don't like this video, they could just pick and choose which one to strike, which one is allowed. You feel me? And it's not just me, it's my people's too, bruh. Rendetta had to deal with this shit by Nivek and Ringheads. But Ringheads strike Pineup and back to Roblox. It's not even just a video about YouTube anymore. It's also about Roblox, because Roblox looks questionable as fuck. I remember when they tried to sue Rupert Sim for $1.6 million for all these things that, whoa, what? You can never imagine a man doing all these crimes. Roblox doesn't give a fuck. They just want to look good. On their platform as we speak, there are so many more nasty ass games that little kids are playing. It's just not being talked about because Roblox wants to look good. So they spike channels to talk about these things. They, they target these channels. It, it makes me question. I know people have said this in the past, but like, there is some shady shit going on in YouTube headquarters. There is some shady shit going on. I'm not going to say there might be some shit going on. No, there is some shit going on. Is it wrong for me to say that? Well, all of these things have, have been going on. All the times I've talked about this shit. And from them, it's just silence. From them, it's just silence. There is some shit going on, bro. Every time shit goes public and people find out, that's when YouTube wants to make some changes. You gotta prove niggas wrong, bro. Cause it's, it's been evident for years. It's been evident for years, bro. And I'm coming to the conclusion that y'all platform is not trustworthy. I'm coming to that conclusion, bro. I don't give a fuck. Y'all platform is not trustworthy. People rely on your platform to feed their families, take care of themselves. But with one wrong move that could be easily fixed with just computer vacation, boom, the source of income is gone. Boom, they lose their crib. And the whole family is homeless. YouTube doesn't care about you, bruh. They just want to look good. They don't care about black people for real. They just want to look good, bruh. They got some shit going on for real. And there's a lot of small YouTubers I know that's been going through the shit. 5CLE, my man's bro, he's gotten this treatment a lot. And when it comes to small YouTubers, they can't just say, oh, yeah, tell Google to, for me, do this or that. Or, oh, yeah, let the big YouTubers know what's going on. They can't just easily do that. I ain't gonna lie, YouTube, y'all dead have to do better with what the fuck y'all niggas do. YouTube, you've been doing this shit for years. And... You know how serious it will get if I ever show my face on here? Because I'm not even comfortable. I'm not even comfortable with showing my face. But it's the fact that it's the shit that y'all doing that's making me do this shit. You begin, everybody expose y'all niggas for the shit that y'all do. It's every day with this shit. Y'all allow these racist content creators to be on this channel. But when somebody exposed them for it, y'all want to just sit there and demonetize the nigga that's actually exposing them? Spreading awareness for the shit that's going on, doing the job that y'all niggas are supposed to do, that's insane. And y'all have zero communication. First of all, there's not even no reasoning to what was going on. When Epic and One got that got that demonetization over the Chills video, there was no communication over it. Y'all just allowed that shit to just happen for no reason, and that's fucking crazy. I think you should be doing that shit. Y'all should go after the person that's, that was making racist jokes. That was doing all that racist shit. But did I go after the nigga that was exposing them? With no communication after that. There was no communication at all. You didn't even tell him. You didn't email him. You didn't do shit. There was nothing wrong with that video. You have to be, you have to be careful. Way careful to what we post. Or else it's going to be a demonetization. A strike. Or anything. And that's actually crazy. You got exposed by Corey Kenshin. When Corey Kenshin exposed y'all that one time, that's when y'all started acting. You shouldn't be just doing that because after you get exposed. You got to be doing that every single time. And as a nigga who's been copyrighted before for no reason, y'all would then have to do better. You got plenty of people on this platform that want to make money and see, see y'all succeed. But how are you supposed to help them? We all keep demonetizing and doing dumb shit. 
I can't be doing that. Do better. That's all I gotta say. Niggas ain't having that. I gotta actually do better. I just can't be just doing that. Man. They can do absolutely nothing about it. They have to accept what just happened. And zero control over their shit. And that is trust. You think creators you think creators should trust you? When that's what's going on in your platform? Now I know this may seem like oh he's just a crybaby. He has a hundred thousand subscribers, but he still he he just wants like he wants everything at this point. Booby, he has it all in the world. I know it may seem like I'm just being a crybaby. But bro, I'm simply saying I don't trust this platform anymore. And I'm letting y'all know, bruh. Especially y'all niggas that want to be new YouTubers. Go for that shit, but be aware of this. Especially how YouTube tries to get you in that mode of constantly chasing views. When you go into YouTube Studio, they have a ranking system of your videos. 1 out of 10, 2 out of 10, 3 out of 10, whatever, yada, yada, yada. When your videos have done bad, it has that 10 out of 10, that gray. It gives you a sad feeling, a dark feeling inside. Like, oh, I gotta make a new video to make up for this. And even when you get that green, that 1 out of 10, the confetti all around the YouTube Studio website. Oh, yes. Now I gotta maintain this so I don't go back to the gray. They make you fear the gray. They, they, they try to put you in that subconscious mode of chasing the views. No matter how many views, you can be getting millions, they'll still have that ranking system. Billions, they'll still have that ranking system. Someone, will, someone can hit 10 billion views at one time. They're not going to hit it for a long ass time. They'll have that ranking system always there though. I was at some point chopped in that shit. I was. Oh, let's not talk about how lack of control I have over my own shit. They give you these options and shit, but I really cannot control if you guys get notified of my videos or not. Because I've been told that my two videos of me celebrating 100k haven't been notified to anyone. They have, like, to, the, to a couple people, but, like, for the most part, nobody knew. Now, look, keep watching this video because I have them. YouTube went from a platform of genuine creative expression to just a shit show, bruh. You look at the top videos. Nigga. I don't know who Camila Aruja is, whatever the fuck her name is. These are the top creators of today. These are the top creators of today, bro. She's a fucking creep. She has her little brother promote her. And that's not a problem to YouTube. That's not a problem. She promotes fucking ass. She, she asked her grandpa, what would you do with me for 15 minutes alone? Is that not promoting And I'll bet you if I don't censor that word, there goes this video. There goes this fucking video. I bet you if she was black, there goes her whole channel. There goes her whole channel. YouTube is becoming a lot like more of a corrupt industry anything that's what i see man and it's only getting worse as i said it's only getting worse from here bro youtube literally wants you to manipulate people to watch your whole videos and binge watch your shit youtube wants you to addict people that's how you get views if you addict people i don't even mean to but i do because a lot of people do binge watch my videos there are youtubers who focus on doing that just because they get some views bro even if they're making weird ass nasty ass videos Oh, but it's getting binge watch a whole lot. Are they black? Checklist, what up? But they're not black. Recommend this shit, bruh. Come on, recommend this shit. Nah, it's not appropriate. Don't spike the shit. Oh, he got spiked? Nah, I'll peel the shit right now. I don't know, man. Let me know what y'all think, bruh. I'm open to hearing what y'all gotta say, man. I'm open. As I said, y'all, YouTube ain't stopping us. YouTube ain't stopping shit, bro. The cleaning will never stop, man. Come on now. I made a diss track on P. Diddy. Not only P. Diddy, but Rebooted Poppy, Chills. And with that, there's just some even more cleaning to come, man. Subscribe to the second channel for all that extra shit, bro. That's in the link tree, as well as my Instagram, my Discord, and everything else. Bro, I'm out, bro. Safety, y'all.